Tagna is at $16.24 now. That is a 27.67% increase in a little over a month. However, with Tegna, I did not buy shares of stock. I actually bought five options contracts. I bought them on July 26, sold them on July 17th. When I bought those five options contracts, they cost me $753.30. And when I sold them, I sold them for $1,646.63. Now, that is an $893 and 33 cent gain or a 118.58% gain. Hey guys, this is July 22nd through July 26th of 2024 winning stocks. We're about to go over the stocks on our watch list that moved up this week, but before we do that, you know, I like to look at the S&P 500, the Dow and the NASDAQ to see the way that the entire market has moved this week. And we see that with the S&P 500, it was a down week for the second week in a row. So the S&P 500 moved down for its second week. If we look at the Dow, it was a slightly positive week, but last week it moved all the way up and then gave up most of those gains. And it was a slightly positive week. This week was just a little above that. And as we look at the NASDAQ, we see a third negative week. The first of those three was only slightly negative, but the next two last week and the week before that gave up a bit of ground. So we see that with the SPY and the NASDAQ, they were moving down for that week. But let's take a look at the stocks on our watch list and see how they fared. Did they move down as well or were they still moving up? But before we do that, we want to take a jump over and look at something. And we want to take a look at the Stock Sage app because as of recently, maybe about a month or two ago, about two months ago, all of the stocks that we are running through this week's winning stocks now are stocks that we find through Stock Sage which shows you which stocks are at their annual low price and they have three or more years of positive earnings in the last five years. Many of them have five years. And we can narrow that down to even more fundamentally sound stocks stocks that have stock buybacks for all five years. They have strong balance sheets, meaning total assets above total liabilities and current assets above current liabilities. And we see we have a smaller group here, 
we can even narrow it down to stocks which have a 10% or greater profit margin for all five years on their income statements. And notice now we only have one. And for those who love dividends, we even have a filter for stocks with dividends or dividend yields above 4%. And we know that many of these companies give dividends under 1%, under 2%. To find ones above 4% is pretty interesting. So if I go to Diana Shipping, for example, and I scroll down to look at the dividend yield, this is a stock with a 16.73% dividend yield. So for those who are looking for fundamentally sound stocks with decent dividend yields, you can find them through the app. Having said that, let's jump back over to our watch list. And we start with MGP ingredients. Now we know I like to break the stocks on our watch list down into three tiers. Three stars is the most fundamentally sound. Two stars is beneath that. And one star is the least fundamentally sound, but still sound enough to make the watch list. MGP Ingredients is a two star. Now they have an earnings date with an earnings report coming out on August 1st. And we know an earnings report can be sort of like going to a casino. If it comes out good, the stock price can jump up dramatically. And if it comes out bad, the stock price can drop dramatically. And there's not much way of knowing in advance which way it's going to come out. Because knowing that information is illegal. It's insider trading. So if you use some means to find out in advance which way the earnings report is going to be when it comes out, you could end up in jail like Martha Stewart did. Insider trading. So if you're going to wait and hold on to the stock through that earnings report when you've just bought it, it's taking a risk. You have to consider whether you want to take that risk. In any event, with MGP ingredients, we see that they've moved up for like the last three weeks. They're currently at $82.22 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $112.67 in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 37.03% increase. Now, you are able to, when you find these stocks in the Stock Sage app, you're able to save your research. And when we found MGP ingredients, if you look here at current price, the price of this stock was $70.23. Now it's at $82.22. Now, we found this stock in the app on July 10th, July 10th, 
it's July 27th now. So in 17 days, that's a 17.07% return. Next, we have RCI Hospitality. RCI Hospitality. We were speaking about MGP ingredients before. Well, they are alcohol. And now we're speaking about RCI Hospitality. Well, they're restaurants and strip clubs. So, RCI Hospitality is a three-star. They have an earnings report dropping on August 8th. They've moved up for the last three weeks. This stock is currently at $48.22 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate it can move up to $98 in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 103.24% increase. Now, when we found RCI Hospitality in the app, it was at $39.10. Now it's at $48.22. We found it on July 8th, and we're at July 27th. Now that would be about 19 days. And in those 19 days, we've had a, well, I should say it would be a 23.32% return. Now, I actually made a purchase of RCI Hospitality, just 45 shares. And in that time, I initially paid $2,133 for the stock now I'm just up $36.90. We'll see if it grows some more. We have Paylocity. Paylocity is a two-star. They have an earnings report dropping on August 1st. Now, Paylocity has moved up only slightly, but the last four weeks. They're currently at $149.43 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $182.28 in the next 12 months. If they do, That'll be a 21.98% return. Paylocity was $130.69 when we pulled it up in Stock Sage. Now at $149.43. That is a 14.33% return. And that is in 26 days. We found them on July 1st. We have Tegna Inc. Now, Tegna Inc. has moved up for five of the last six weeks. They are a two-star. And... They're currently at $16.24 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $19.13 in the next 12 months. 
if they do, that will be a 17.80% return. So at this point, since there's not much more that they're expected to grow, this um, stock will be removed from the watch list after this week. Now, Tagna was at $12.72 when we found them in the app. And that was on June 17th. So a little over a, a little over a month, maybe about seven to eight weeks. In any event, Tegna's at sixteen dollars and twenty four cents now. That is a twenty seven point sixty seven percent increase in a little over a month. However, with Tegna, I did not buy shares of stock. I actually bought five options contracts. I bought them on July 26, sold them on July 17th. When I bought those five options contracts, they cost me $753.30. And when I sold them, I sold them for $1,646.63. Now, that is an $893 and 33 cent gain or a 118.58% gain in one month. So the app can not only be used to find opportunities in the stock market to buy stocks, but if you're into trading options, it can be used for trading the options as well because the one thing that's important when it comes to trading options is knowing which way the stock is going to move and you can do that when you can determine the fundamentally sound stocks now this is the last week of this week's stock winners. From here on, guys, it will be a this month's stock winners that will be dropped at the end of every month, letting you know which fundamentally sound stocks on our watch list have been well moved up. And the reason for that is now that you have the Stock Sage app available to you, you guys can find these stocks for yourselves. You don't need me to be going into this week's stock winners and telling you everything. You can find them and interpret the data for yourselves now. So please take advantage of that. But in any event, let's move on with our watch list. Next, we have Haverty Furniture Companies. They make mattresses. And you may not have heard of Haverty Furniture, but you very well may have heard of many of the furniture they make, such as Sealy Tempur-Pedic, things like that. In any event, they're a two-star. They have an earnings support dropping in a few days, July 31st. 
They've moved up the last three weeks. They're currently at $27.81 a share. But Yahoo analysts estimate they could move up to $36.67 in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 31.86% return. This stock was at $23.69 when we found the happy firm in Stock Sage. Now it's up to $27.81. That is a 17.39% return in 17 days. We have Adco Corporation. This is another stock that will be removed from the watch list. They're a two star. They've moved up for the last three weeks. They're currently at $103.52 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $116.55 in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 12.59% increase. When we found them in Stock Sage, they were at $94.99 a share. Now they're at $103.52. That is a 8.97% increase in 19 days. We have Diamond Hill Investment Group. This is a two star. This will also be removed from the watch list after this week. The last four weeks have been positive for this company. However, two of them were slight the other two were decent moves. They're currently at $161.32 a share. Yahoo analysts don't have an estimate, but my estimate based on PE is that they can move up to $181.15 in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 12.29% increase. Now, they were at $140.97 when we caught them in Stock Sage. Now, they've moved up to $161.32. That is a... 14.43% increase in a little over a month. We have energy recovery. They are a two star and they have an earnings date dropping on July 31st. They're currently at $14.91 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $20.50 in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 37.49% increase. They were at $13.02 when we caught them in Stock Sage. 
Now they're at $14.91. That is a 14.51% increase in a little over a month. We have market access, another one to be removed after this week. They are a three star. They've moved up slightly, but for the last five weeks. They're currently at $225.63 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to 235 in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 4.15% increase. They were $193.43 when we caught them in Stock Sage. Now they're at $225.63. That is a 16.64% increase in a little over a month. Then we have Titan Machinery. They are a two-star. They have an earnings report dropping in a few days. It'll be August 29th or later that week. I'm sorry, not a few days. We'll see next month, August 29th or later in that week. They've had moved up the last three weeks although one was only a minor move. They're currently at $17.89 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $25.20 in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 40.86% increase. Now, they were at $15.26 when we caught them in Stock Sage. Now they're at $17.89. That is a 17.23% increase in around 26 days. Now, if you notice a pattern, notice that when I showed you the SPY and the NASDAQ, they moved down for the last few weeks, which means that most of the market is moving down for the last two weeks. But as we go through this watch list, we're finding a lot of these stocks moving up multiple weeks. And the reason for that is because, one, these are fundamentally sound companies, but they're not just fundamentally sound. They're fundamentally sound companies that were already at their annual low price and now starting to move back up. And that's what the act provides you. So now we have where food comes from, another company to be removed after this week. They are a three star, currently at $11.50 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $12.28 in the next 12 months. If they do, that would be a 6.78% increase. This stock was at $10 when we found it in Stock Sage. Now it's at $11.50. That is a 
15% increase in 23 days. Then we have Greystone Housing Impact Investors. Now, this is not, they don't have any stars. They're not fundamentally sound enough to watch, to make the watch list. However, they have an earnings day dropping on August 7th. The last three weeks have been positive, although only slightly. This stock is at $14.73 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $18.33 in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 24.44% increase. Now, this stock was at $14.37 when we found it in Stock Sage. Now it's at $14.73. So, that was around 16 days ago that we found it. They've only had a 2.50% return in that time. Now, I've actually bought 100 shares of this stock. Cost me $1,455. I'm only up $18 at this point. But this particular stock, I didn't buy them because I expected them to appreciate so much. I bought them because they had a 10.50% dividend yield. So if I can buy a stock that's going to increase a little and at the same time, it has a high dividend yield. I consider that a plus. We have Deer and Company. This is another stock that's going to be removed from the watch list after this week. They are a three star. They're currently at $386.55. Yahoo estimates they can move up to $388.98 in the next 12 months. If they do, that would only be a 0.63% increase. Now, we found them in Stock Sage when they were at $348.84. Now they're at $386.55. That is a 10.81% return in 18 days. We have Cable One. They are a one star. They have an earnings report dropping on August 1st. They're currently at $395.01 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $496.83 in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 25 point seven eight percent increase when we found them in stock sage they were at three hundred and twenty one dollars and ninety cents now they're at three hundred and ninety five dollars and one cents so that was a twenty two 
1.71% increase in 18 days. We have Marine Products Corporation. They make boats, recreational vehicles. They're a three-star. They have an earnings report dropping on October 23rd or later that week. And they've moved up for the last three weeks. Not much, but they've moved up. They're currently at $10.66 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $12.86 in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 20.64% increase. Now, when we found marine products in Stock Sage, they were $8.99 a share. Now they're at $10.66. That is an 18.57% increase in 18 days. Now, I personally bought 100 shares of this stock. I paid $991 for 100 shares, and so far I'm up $75. Next, we have Oak Tree Specialty Lending. This is another stock that's about to be removed from the watch list. They are a two star. They are currently at $18.41 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $19.70 in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 7.01% increase. And notice they've moved up the last week. They were at $17.68 when we found them in Stock Sage. Now they're at $18.41. That is a 4.12% increase in eight days. Then we have Helen of Troy Limited. Very interesting company. They actually own a number of companies that do different things, not just one thing. In any event, Helen of Troy is a three-star. And notice they only slightly moved up this last week. They've been moving down for a few weeks, but they slightly moved up this last week. They're currently at $58.98 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to 82 in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 39.03% increase. Helen of Troy was at 57 cents. I'm sorry, $57.01 when we found them in Stock Sage. Now they're at $58.98. That is a 3.45% return in eight days. Now, personally, I bought 85 shares of this stock. Cost $4,849.25. However, I've 
just crossed over. It was down a little bit, but I've just crossed over. Now I'm profitable by $164.05. We have Edward Life Sciences. They are a three star. They have an earnings report dropping. October 23rd or later that week. And notice, they haven't really began to move up for a full week yet. But they dropped significantly this week. And they've moved up from where they were. They're at $62.37 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $82.05 in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 31.55% increase. Edwin Life Sciences was $62.33 when we caught them in Stock Sage. Now they're at $62.37. So only about four cents. They haven't moved up much. Point zero six percent. However, this stock was saved. We caught them in stock sage a day ago, Friday, and. I actually, when we saw them, I believe it was like an hour or two hours before market close. Maybe it was like 3 o'clock or 4 o'clock, I'm not sure. 3 o'clock or 2 o'clock, I'm not sure. But I believe it may have been around 3 o'clock. I just decided, okay, I'm going to buy an options contract. Generally, I don't buy it until maybe five minutes before market closes so I could be prepared for the next market day, which is Monday. But this time, I just bought it like an hour before. The option cost me, it was a long-term option. It's like November 15th, so it's a few months out. It's at the strike price. It cost me $590.66. And if you look at that one or two hours, I already ended the day with a gain of $62.22. Let's hope that that continues. In any event, we have Liberty Broadband. They have an earnings support dropping on August 8th. Now, they were not fundamentally sound enough to make our watch list. But they're currently at $63.76 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $93.47 in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 46.60% increase. We have CSG Systems. They are a two-star, and they have an earning support dropping on August 7th. They are currently at $45.95 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $65.56 in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 42.68% increase. And notice they've moved up the last three weeks. 
we have interbar phones. They are a two star. They have an iron support dropping on all your six. six. They're currently at one hundred thirty-seven dollars and ninety-eight cents a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to one hundred sixty-nine dollars and sixty cents in the next twelve months. If they do, that'll be a twenty-two point ninety-two percent increase. We have information services. They are not on our watch list, that's why you see no stars. But they have an earnings report dropping August 5th. This stock is one of the cheaper ones. They're currently at $3.52 a share. But Yahoo Analyst estimate they can move up to $6.08 in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 72.73% increase. And notice they've been positive the last four weeks. We have Innovative Solutions. They are a three star. They have an earnings report dropping August 7th, the later that week. Currently at $6.27 a share. Yahoo analysts don't have an estimate, but mine based on P ratio is that they can move up to $9.20 in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 46.73% increase. We have gambling.com. And they've actually been positive for six of the last seven weeks. They're a one star. They're currently at $9.58. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $12.86 in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 34.24% increase. We have ODP Corporation. They are a one star. And they've been positive for five of the last seven weeks. They have an earnings report dropping on August 7th. They're currently at $42.42 .42 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $72.23 in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 70 point twenty seven percent increase. We have Myers Industries. They are a two star. They have an earnings report dropping on August first. They've moved up for the last three weeks, although only slightly the last one. They're currently at $14.73 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $30 in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 103.67% increase. And that's it for our this week's winning stocks guys i look forward to speaking to you in the next video have a great night